So we're planning on talking about Satisfactory on the diecast tomorrow, uh, doing our recording tomorrow, and I thought that I would make a video of my factory. So here we are in Experimental, Satisfactory Release 3, or Update 3, I guess. And um, here we are at my factory. Well, I mean, that's not much to look at, but most of it's over here. This is uh, a nightmare. I've once again built a spaghetti base, and uh, I don't know if we're going to tour this whole thing. It's, I mean, once you know the game, it's just kind of straightforward stuff, but I figured I'd show off some of it. So uh, this is the, the crown jewel of the factory, my two turbo motor factories running at full capacity. Those are fed by heat sink production over here. And the heat sinks are, of course, made of aluminum, which is in my aluminum base down here. This is my bauxite site, and I'm refining all my aluminum down here into ingots, and then shipping it via train. Where's that train? Is this it? Aluminum truck. Yep, there it is. Uh, via train up here, and offloading it and turning it into stuff. Um, another thing you need for turbo motors is motors, and you need quite a few motors, which is why I have these motors over here. This is my motor factory and uh, the two to or not two to one yeah well these are all um, two times overclocked but there's a uh, alternate recipe for the rotor I believe yeah for the rotor that has pipes and oh you can look it up X recipes rotor look at that alternate recipe uses steel pipe and wire and so then you can make because the the default for the stator is also steel pipe and wire and so you can just have a steel pipe and wire factory and so this just makes steel and the wire is made from caterium which i've got the alternate uh, alternate recipe caterium no nope, for wire there we go caterium wire uh, so yeah, so I'm making caterium wire, not caterium wire, I'm making normal wire with caterium ingots. And uh, so, an <clears throat> Excuse me. so anyway, that's the motor factory, producing 15 motors every minute. And those go over here. Turbo motors. And the turbo motors, uh, well, let's, let's go down, let's go down to the factory. One of the things I like about this update is that you can use these things as elevators, because elevators were sorely missing in this game, and now we have them. Uh, so, one of the things that's a little weird about Satisfactory is there's no way to store items uh, if you only want a few of them. You can have just the output of the factory, which will store a stack, uh, but if you want two stacks, you have to either make two factories or put it in a normal storage container, which holds, what is this, 24 stacks. Uh, so to get around that, I've split up a bunch of leaves and just filled up all the other containers, storage slots, so that it only accumulates... <coughs> so that it only accumulates two stacks of actual turbo motors. And then the rest of them into the bin, by which I mean the, the fancy grinder store. So the way I'm doing this is that uh, I've got a splitter that does two into this one and one aside, so that when I deplete them it preferentially refills the storage container before it starts kicking them off. And you can do this with, you could make it a two stage where you had nine to one, or three stage with 18 to one, or however many how many to one you, you'd like to, to split off so that you get preferential uh, refill. I do the same thing with heat sinks, but I'm producing so many heat sinks that I don't actually need to. So one of the other things they update in this 
on this update that's new is this thing. This awesome sink. Which seems to be a pun on the Epic Store. But that's fine because it's a pretty cool thing. Let's watch some of these motors go in. We've got a turbo motor. It's going to spool up a little bit. Zoom. Here it goes. Boom. And they're going to grind it all up. And this is producing what? Four, three million points per minute, which doesn't actually end up being a lot when you've got is this 300 over 300 tickets available? It's out. There we go. And then we'll add them to the, the mix. So here it is, ground level at the factory. It's um, it's pretty nightmarish. If you like things to be organized, but it actually works fine. I mean, there's nothing wrong with this. Uh, except that it can be hard to find things if you don't know your way around. But since I'm the only one in this factory, you don't have to know your way around, so it's fine. Uh, let's see, here we go. 354 tickets available. What should we buy? The only things that you can really buy for that many tickets are these statues. You get a confusing creature. It was a doggo. Ah, saving up for a golden nut. Let's keep saving. Put these tickets back. Uh, there we go. Uh, what else should we see? We can go see the aluminum factory. We can see the nuclear plant. I have six nuclear plants running at full capacity. Well, they could be at full capacity. Right now they're at barely a quarter. Less than a quarter. Fifth. Oh, no, a quarter. It's about a quarter. We're running quarter capacity. Uh, yeah, let's go do that. Maybe I'll do some exploring too. Now let's go get some, let's go get some ammo. I'll probably edit this out. You don't have to watch me fooling around, picking up ammo and stuff. I have an automated ammo creation, although I probably should. I don't know. It, it's pretty quick to make them, so it's not a big hassle. Alright, one of the things I want to do when I go out in the field is to get one stack of everything so that when I come across containers, I'm sure to have what I need to unlock them. What, crash sites? I also want to have a bunch of these. So that I can... Build railroad tracks. There we go. Reinforced plates, beams, alclad, copper sheet. We need more rubber, more plastic, more concrete, probably. Get some staters. Should get some screws. There's the plastic. Should get some radio control. Oh, we're not going to have radio control units. sinks. I think it always has parts. It doesn't have... There we go. There's a few radio control units. We can't need a lot, can we? It doesn't seem like. There we go. 15 radio control units. Hopefully that'll be enough. Okay. Let's do this. 36. We should get some more fuel, too. As long as we're at it. Whoa! So with fuel, I did the same thing as, uh, as with the turbo motors. I don't want a whole bunch of it lying around, but I do want to have enough. So I just fill up the rest with leaves. That should be plenty. All right, here we go. And then this is my exploration plant. So when I have a bunch of stuff that I want to send back, 
I just put it in this train car, it comes back, unloads, sorts out into mycelium, which goes to produce fabric. And what is this? Uh, alien carapaces, I think, which produces biomass. Yeah, alien carapace. And that gives me more biomass than I know what to do with. All right, here we go. Where are we going? Let's go look at, we'll pass through the, the um, petroleum processing plant there. Let's go look at the uranium production and then we'll look at the, uh, the nuclear power plant. I'm gonna save real quick because I don't know if you can actually die from exposure to radiation when you're in the train. Uranium falls, load two, that should be safe. Autopilot on. Here we go. So unfortunately you can't look at the build menu and like queue up. It'd be nice if you could queue up. Say so you've got nine assemblers in my queue, in my build queue. It'd be nice if you could adjust that while you're riding in the train. Unfortunately you can't, also can't look at your inventory. You can't swap out your equipment. So right now I'm wearing my late run my jetpack probably. Yeah, I'm wearing my jetpack. So this doesn't work, I'm gonna have to reload or something. Because I'm not wearing radiation gear. And uh, if it actually hurts me while I'm in the train, then I'm gonna die. But I don't think it does. I don't think you can take damage when you're in the train. We'll see. Because when you can take damage, your health bar shows up. There's no health bar showing um, currently. We find out. We find out together. Oh, so that was my petroleum processing facility. I've got my coke there too. It goes into the aluminum refinery, and then up here is. Crystal loading. I would have processed it into what is it, silica powder, but uh, the volume's higher on silica than it is on crystal, so I just transport the crystals and process into silica. It doesn't have to fill as far. That high volume. And we'll see that in a minute, but first, we go to the nuclear. Yeah, see, there was the nuclear scow. So here's my nuclear processing. I have a bit here that sees it. It's set up. So I set this whole thing running. Really interesting. Yeah, radiation levels going up. So there's the. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, radiation levels are real high here. But it doesn't look like I'm taking damage, so that's good. Yeah, that would have killed me. But I'm inside the train, so that's good to know. You can't die from radiation while you're inside the train. Uh, let's just turn our autopilot off and move out the door, and then we can examine this at our leisure. Log volumes need to be fixed. So inside there is one of the uranium uh, spots, and it's got a Mark II mine. And then here, so, and, and the way I get it out is I've got a train that just runs out here and unloads it and then runs back in there. That's it. It's like the shortest train route ever, but eh, whatever. Uh, and so that processes into uranium, uh, uranium ore. Uranium ore goes into here. It processes it into pellets. And those are the sulfuric acid plants that you need to process the, uh, the uranium. Sulfur comes in here at this train factory, and that's what way over here is our sulfur loading plant. So I've got a train that goes and gets sulfur, and then it gets concrete because you need concrete to process it into there they are into encased pellets. So the concrete is train three. So there's a train that goes and gets concrete and sulfur, and then there's a separate car that gets uranium. So the uranium never ends up in my main base. Uranium all stays right down here. This area by 
the nuclear power plants. I was going to put them up here. I've even got a, a uh, strain station up there. I was going to put my nuclear power plants right up here. Uh, two problems with that. One is had I forgot that you need water to run nuclear power plants. And at the time, the cars, uh, the fluid transporting cars, would only carry 50 cubic meters, uh, which is a lot of, of water, but when a nuclear power plant uses 300 per minute, not nearly enough. Uh, now, fluid transport cars carry 500. That may change. Experimental after all, but uh, it would be much more doable at this point. I could have like a three-car train or five-car train or something uh, shipping water in for the nuclear power plants. But instead, I built them down here by the sea. So anyway, so that's our my processing facility, and then that loads the pellets into this plant here, and then there's a train that takes them over to the nuclear power facility. So let's go actually to the aluminum plant. Okay, so here we are. Aluminum factory. Crystals come out. Coke comes out. Ooh, Coke production is down. Well, that's not good. That's going to be problematic. I'll have to fix that at some point. Anyway, we've got three miners, Mark II. Could upgrade those, but then it'd just be a bunch more buildings to build in. I can't use all this aluminum anyway. Um, crystal gets turned into powder here silica powder, those ones, and then that all goes into there. Anyway, the process is pretty straightforward. When you know how this works, you'll see what's going on. So these are the refineries that produce the aluminum solution, and or the alumina slurry or whatever, and these are the ones that produce the aluminum scrap, and then these are the foundries that produce the ingots. And now the ingots go around right in here. And over there, this is my nuclear power plants. Let's go see how they're doing. So for this one, I am going to put on my radiation suit. But first, let's look over here. Whoa, radiation levels, yeah. Yikes. Um, I'm going to have to put on my gas mask, because even though this tube is ostensibly airtight, when I go buy these big uh, beehive poison things, poison termites, uh, it will poison me and damage me if I don't have my gas mask on. So you can see my, my gas mask got to bleed in a little bit there. Don't know why that happens, but I chalk it up to being experimental. So here we are, nuclear power plants. We haven't backed up yet, that's nice. I wonder how many, how many nuclear fuel cells can you have before you start backing up? What's the stack size? Uh, there's one right there. Oh, cool. So I've got two sequestration sites for the nuclear waste. One over there, and one over here. And this one's actually not um, not set up properly, so maybe I'll go fix that. So let's put on our hazmat suit so we don't die. And we'll take a little walk. Radiation levels are decently low atop this train station. Get a little higher once you get next to those, but that's fine. Let's see how this looks. Whew. Radiation levels are still pretty high. I wonder what that's from. Oh, it's probably from those, from those pellets. 27, look at that. 27 nuclear fuel rods. And we're running way under capacity, as you can see. I could probably tune down fuel rod production, but why? Alright, let's go fix those. Let's go fix that. I 
Waste storage. Waste sequestration site. This is going to have a very high radiation level, I'd imagine. But I've never actually explored over here, so let's see. Whee! Alright, radiation levels are climbing. And climbing. And climbing. And we want to go out of... Whoa! Yeah, you can see they go real high to get close to this guy. Because this is where all the waste is. Oh, it's not nearly... Not nearly full. Okay. So we're going to build one of these right here. And that should do it. Zoop, 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 zoop. There's the nuclear waste. Zoom! Very high. If we pick one of these up, then we'll be at maximum radiation. No matter where we go. That's fine. We can just toss it in there. Now it's filling up in here. Alright, good. That's fixed. I had a bug one time where I picked up some, what was it, encased fuel cells and then put them all in a factory, but my radiation levels didn't go down again, um, and so I had to drop my, my suit and just die and come back and pick up my suit again and all my stuff because uh, it was just burning through my filters. So Anyway, that is the nuclear power plant. And, uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for, for this video. Thanks for watching. And, uh, yeah, this is a pretty fun game. I've kind of reached the end game here, though. The only thing left at this point is to put together a... What's this? Reinforced beams, I think. No beams either. We're using those all up. Had plenty over there. I think we're producing them at exactly the right rate. Yeah, we've got beams. Hmm. I think we're producing them at the right rate. We should have enough. Let's get out of here. Well, that wasn't too bad. We only burned through two filters. That's very reasonable. I was kind of afraid that I'd be burning through filters like crazy operating down nuclear facility, but seems like everything is fine. Alright, well here we are. Satisfactory experimental build. It's been pretty cool. And I hope they have more fun stuff for us soon.